deal thing. A pop-up, immersive, and Instagrammable art exhibit. The Black Hair Experience celebrates the unique beauty of black hair and is a nostalgic throwback to the culture that surrounds it. So this is an actual straightened comb, like the style of one that we use, and that's a crimper. Exhibit co-founder Elizabeth Davis says the message she's trying to send is simple, that black hair is beautiful no matter how people choose to wear it. I feel like hair culture for us is an extension of yourself. I really love to change my hair based off of my, my mood and based off of what I wear. It's a, a way of creativity. Unfortunately, we know we, should, we are still in times where people will see that the way that my hair currently is and the way that it grows out of my hair as, as something that is less than. In recent months, there have been at least three high-profile cases of Texas teens being punished for their traditional African hairstyles, which have broken their school's dress code policies. Things aren't much better in the workplace, where, according to a recent study by Dove Research, 80 percent of black women nationally felt they had to change their natural hair to meet social norms or expectations at work. Autumn Cavanis did her Ph.D. dissertation on hair discrimination, which she describes as a vestige of slavery and European standards of what is considered beautiful. But even though you may have the advanced degree, your hair still pays a part in how others in that workplace view you and essentially view the work that you've already done to get in that place. When you are worried and concerned about can I take this job? Can I, can I do this in humid weather? What if my, my hair doesn't hold up under weather conditions? You can never do your best work under that kind of pressure. Right now, there's a bill making its way through Congress trying to change that. Known as the Crown Act, it bans discrimination based on someone's hair texture and style, including locks, cornrows, twists, braids, and afros. Madam Speaker. In March, it passed the House mostly along party lines, Republicans calling it unnecessary and a distraction from bigger issues facing the country. We have right, the civil rights law cover this thing, cover this kind of, any kind of discrimination. It's covered. It's wrong if it happens. But this is what the Democrats are focused on. 14 months of chaos and we're doing a bill on hair. The Crown Act is still waiting to be taken up in the Senate, where its fate is uncertain. But if it does pass, U.S. President Joe Biden has signaled that he'd sign it into law. In the meantime, at least 14 individual states have enacted their own version of the Crown Act. Elizabeth Davis is hoping her pop-up art exhibit will help foster conversation around the issue and reach a whole new generation of black men and women. We relied a lot on magazines, a lot on, you know, the TV shows, but with them, they're relying a lot on social media and the, the influencers. And I hope that the people they are following are showing and teaching them that they can love themselves the way they are. My hair, my, my, my hair, my Meeting them on their own turf is perhaps the best way to get that message across. Tony Waterman, CGTN, Austin, Texas.